How do we achieve super maneuverability? As on last video, I show you a jet with super maneuverability. Not like this one though. This one super maneuverability is a bit worse. Something like this. Let's try it out, shall we? Like this. This isn't the best, but it's super maneuverability. So how do we achieve this? So in this video, I'll go for a tutorial. Oh, I've fallen. All right, so I'm back in the tutorial. So today I'm gonna be going for a tutorial on how to make or use this right here to make super maneuverability on the aircraft. And if you're like one of those guys, no, just make a plane that turns in less than like maybe like 10 seconds, but it requires more than five seconds to turn. I think I'm gonna need something to improve. This video might be just for you. And today, yeah, I'm gonna go over that as well as gyros used to make something like this. And also go over that too. So, starting off the ball joint tutorial. So first of all, if you're gonna place it inside of your aircraft, make sure it's like a yeah nine by nine two, like a nine two. It has to be full blocks or it can just be half blocks. It's fine, but make sure you delete this block, this block, this block, this block, and then you place the ball joint. If this if this is inside of your aircraft, place it like this, and here are the settings. All right, max angle all the way to zero or one is your choice for zero max torque to any number here is your choice going to your plane and speed all the way up and then yes yeah you just place the blocks to cover up here one rule is that um, make sure nothing is touching it on the side on this side or in the front top or bottom otherwise it'll interfere with it another way to put this is to put it in front of your aircraft like I how it did on my A10. It's something like this. So like then it's like the bottom of your nose on your aircraft. And then right here you place the ball joint. Alright, there we go. Same settings. Max torque do a four hundred and mouse control. So you can see just put it like this. There's like gonna be a turret here. Maybe something like a firework, maybe. I don't know. Or, like a gun. It's your choice. But this is how to use... Yeah, this is how to use ball joints. Another way... Is by using motor locking to put the ball joint. For this one, I'll use my new SU-27 for the example. Right here is where I place the ball joint. This is the settings. It's a bit different since... um. Yeah, it's, this jet is kind of a little bit of delay. It doesn't have that great super maneuverability. But yeah, so you put it here. And make sure nothing is interfering before the motor locking. And yeah. And of course, you gotta like bump it a few times to activate it. It's a really normal thing. Bump it. And there you go. It's activated. And then you can just so fly and shoot around. Yeah, kind of like that. So it's that easy. Just set it up. Just put it in a place where nothing can interfere in your aircraft. And yeah, you got yourself the super maneuverability aircraft. And if you're a person who doesn't even have a fighter jet, go watch my first video, like my last video. And if you actually don't have one, you can do this. An easier way, not as good aesthetics, but I'll say just still acceptable. And yeah, that's what you do. I know this works or not, but I'm pretty sure you gotta bump it a few times.
takes a while, I'm not gonna lie. There you go, see? Okay, this thing barely flies. This is... What the heck is this? As you can see? Yeah, it works. On any plane. I'll give you another example. This. What is by far the best super maneuverability spaceship aircraft? This is like my anti shredder. And of course, I'm not gonna do a tutorial on this, but this is how it looks. Yeah, this is. I use a ball joint for this too. And yeah, this is what you can do with ball joints. It's really fun to use around technically, and it gives you a huge advantage. I mean, like most jets in the PvP server, technically I have worse maneuverability and uh, if someone is on the tail you can just do this yeah and you just go back on the tail plus none of your terrifying jets can maneuver like this usually it takes around like three seconds to turn or whatnot unless if they're using thrust vectoring other than that um you probably pretty much just gonna be on their tail you're gonna you're only gonna be the person who's gonna be on their tail and yeah pretty much not a lot of people can kill you and um yeah you just turn your aircraft into an anti shutter look at this maneuverability yeah this could be you right now oh gosh just... that could be you now next one it's just gonna be gyro oh wait this is the wrong build we are gonna take there we go and I'm stuck inside. Alright. This is my gyro tank build. It's pretty okay, I guess. No motor lockings here. Maybe a bit. But yeah. So this is what you can do with gyro. Oh gosh. It's kind of like one of those mech tutorials. Gyro is also used for mechs. Not gonna lie. Damn. Yeah, this is what you can do with gyros. Now, now, I'm stuck in it. Okay. On to the tutorial. So, depending on where you're gonna place your gyro, behind the mech or whatnot, this is how you make it. And use this for other projects too, like fun ones. So, first you place a motor 2, speed 50, max torque, what was it, 500? I think it's 500. And tolerance, so this is 10. And yeah, let's copy this one now. And you place a block right here. And then motor 2. Paste it. You use the same settings here. Let's place it like this. And then last step. Two gyros. Just like that. And you just turn everything up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then after that, you should be done. You should connect the gyro, the two motor tools to your build, though. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Yeah, this is how it's like. And I'm gonna turn the fixed rotation. And now, you just place a main pilot seat. Just like that. I'm gonna go super rocket engine and then you're good. Oh gosh, this is no, no. that's too much torque. There we go. See? You see? It's more of a land vehicle, but you need like something to like propel you upwards. Learn that, yeah. I would say this is more useful for like other builds like mechs, but I remember the disadvantage of this is um yeah, it kind of takes us longer time to go upwards. But other than that, yeah, you turn really fast. Sometimes even faster than the ball joint. But however, this is not used for aircrafts. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah.
if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like or subscribe. It's your choice. And yeah, this will be it. So, goodbye.